Welcome back. So I am in a place in my life right now where I'm feeling so much rejection from almost every direction of my life, but I'm actually really excited about it. So you're probably like, wait, what? <laughs> so hear me out. This is not something that I've heard a lot in the spiritual community, but as I work more with clients and I go through my own experience, I am actually hearing a lot more about this, especially this is for people who are in the phase where if they've been in isolation and you're now going into reintegrating into the world. So if this is something that you're feeling and you're not really sure why or what to do, leave a comment. So I have cleared so much at this point from people, jobs, the things, traumas, you name it, we have done it, okay? And I now have a zero tolerance policy for disrespect. So while before I'd take bad behavior, let people walk all over me, didn't really have a sense of boundaries, now I shut it down on the spot. I do not care who you are. I'm honest and I'm authentic. And in on all honest, in all honesty, I used to sugarcoat things so much so that everyone else could handle things and I ran out of sugar. I just do not sugarcoat things anymore and keep quiet if something is wrong. If something is wrong, I will say it, okay? And let me tell you how boundaries and standing in your truth can rub people the wrong way. And there's so much rejection because of it. So I have a theory, but so I don't go off on a tangent. If you want to know what my theory is, leave a comment that you want to know my theory and I will let you know in a separate video. Okay. But coming back to today's topic of rejection, the surprising thing is that you at some point stop caring. You have to remember that you are on a spiritual journey, which is a very individual journey. You are doing it for yourself. You're doing it by yourself. You're healing yourself, not other people, not for other people. And when shit hits the fan, the people who are bitching about you aren't going to be there and have your back. So whatever. It doesn't matter what they think because they do not know what you are going through and why you are going through it. But here is where the exciting thing comes in. You get to a point where you clear out so much negativity and misaligned stuff from your space and energy that you start to feel lighter because you are no longer carrying around everyone else's baggage and you can distinguish what is yours versus what is theirs and you are now choosing to stop abandoning yourself and there's so much empty space now because you've cleared all of that out that you can Fill it with incredible things and people that are more aligned with who you are now. And you start to feel that you're on the verge of manifesting so many great people and opportunities into your life. And the more you feel like you're just not able to connect with people and things from your old life means that you are ready for something bigger. You are ready to start playing ball in the big leagues and you just haven't met your teammates yet so i hear this term thrown around a lot of where's my tribe and i'm guilty i have said it before too but the other day i had this realization there are two tribes that we have one is the tribe that we are here to serve and you have to remember, you're not here to serve everyone, okay? And the other tribe is the tribe that you are here to serve alongside. These are the people who are going through it with you. They are going to walk the path with you. They are serving with you. You are here to lift each other up. So if you're finding yourself in a place 
of rejection. Remember this. One, you've outgrown the people, places, and things you're around. Two, is to start finding the new things that are aligned for you, you have to start saying yes to things that you maybe wouldn't have said yes to before. Just test the waters, try different things. Start putting yourself in environments that resonate with you now. Not everything will fit, but you're more likely to find a fit faster now. So tell me, are you in that weird in-between space of rejection and acceptance? I'm curious, how are you handling it? Leave a comment. Maybe this is where your next level of connection starts. Tell us where you're tuned in from too, and maybe you'll find someone else in the same boat locally so you can hang out. And if you can't find anyone locally, come back here, make sure you subscribe, make sure you share this with your friends who might be going through this. And I hope to see you next time.